Yeah, the final race of the day here, and it's going to be brilliant. We've had some fantastic racing from this uh, class, and our previous two, this is going to be their third and final race for the weekend. It's a massive 10 lapper, so look at, hold on to this one, as we've got our... Uh, our Ninja 400s, so they're going to be off first, and then our higher sungs are there in uh, the second start. So uh, we're going to have uh, the lights coming on, and that'll be our Ninjas. They will take off first, and then uh, the second start will be a reactivation uh, uh, of the lights. And then uh, what that'll be doing is sending the higher sungs off next. So let's get excited about Ninja 400s. They're going to be away first, and we've got a good start from Tyler King. Uh, Billy Fuller as well on that uh, uh, P2 on the front row. And then look out for Alex Butts, and this is a big uh, moment in this uh, Ninja Cup for the championship, as Alex has got to beat Billy if he wants to hang on to the overall. And uh, now our higher sungs all get away nice and cleanly as well. Ben Cook on pole. He has uh, got that uh, championship uh, in the palm of his hand as well. Just needs to hang on and finish this one. And we're going to be crowning some champions in both our Ninja Cup and our Higher Sun Cup. We've also got our Wheel Sport Women's Cup as well. And that is uh, firmly in the hands of Kendall Dunlop. So uh, we've got something special on the cards here. As uh, the final race of the day, a 10-lap thriller. We've got nine Ninja 400s and we've got 20 Higher Sun 250s. And uh, a fabulous uh, uh, addition to the program here. As uh, we see Alex Butson getting himself racy into turn number seven. Billy Fuller in behind. We've got uh, Tyler King right there as well. These three have been absolutely electric. As we Billy Fuller, what a uh, dynamic move around the outside of turn eight, breaking out into turn nine. Now Alex Butts is going to try and argue back quickly. Uh, he is a uh, former uh, top three NZ in New Zealand Pro Twin Racing and now uh, loves this Carl Cox uh, Motorsport Ninja Cup. And uh, we, we love it as well. It's just uh, an absolutely fantastic addition. But we can have 29 extra riders come and help us with our New Zealand Superbike Championship. And uh, credit to Ken uh, Dobson and all the work uh, and the man uh, himself, Carl Cox. We love you, Carl. And uh, hopefully uh, we get to catch you on a racetrack soon. But uh, this is uh, on at the moment. The three of them down the back straight. They've streaked off. They've got uh, half the back straight over the lead already. And Tyler King uh, trying to find uh, something special. Alex Butson breaks a little bit deeper. And what a move. Two for one special for Alex Butson. And as he goes into the flip flop and now he leads with Billy Fuller and Tyler in behind. Well, this is winner take all, I believe, in the Ninja Cup as well. If Alex Butson can win this one, uh, he will win the overall. If Billy Fuller can win it, she will win the overall. Tyler King, he's the one that can play spoiler to this whole party as he goes up the inside of Alex and leads around turn number one. This is going to be what we call paint swapping at its finest. Is three of the very best going at it in our Carl Cox Motorsport Ninja Cup racing and people have said to me hey Neil you could commentate if there's two uh, snails going well yeah we could because if they're two snails and they're both trying to get to the same point the first it is a race maybe a little bit slow there's nothing slow about this man these are real bikes you know they're going for it and these guys have laid on the line again and again and again now mostly of course being the Auckland Motorcycle Club hosting event they're at Hampton Downs used to be Pukki Go but are then Hampton Downs and here they are with the taste of Taupo throwing in for good measure so you can't just get good at one track you've got to learn to get good at the others as well and because the Auckland Motorcycle Club is our host this week in. and as our host you've got the opportunity to have your other rounds for example when we were hosted by the Suzuki International Series we had for example uh, Sumi Motard and, uh, back so uh, then of course we went down uh, south so we took an opportunity to have the classes that the uh, uh, South both Motorcycle and Canterbury and Southland Club offered us as well and now of course we come uh, back to here and we've uh, thrown it in and Motorfest last weekend as I said love that uh, showy helmets uh, two-stroke GP in our post classic racing as well uh, the TZ 750s and the like just gorgeous bikes and some great riders and great company it's a great machinery. What an awesome event last year, last week, sorry. Shout out to uh, our uh, legend and uh, super, uh, uh, well, we'll call him a host of the event, Simon Grafer. Simon is a GP commentator. Uh, the maturity of that man was unbelievable. I enjoyed so much time. We had an incident in one of the races, so we could sit down. He started to tell us a few things that, that maybe wouldn't normally be told to the people in the racing public, but he got out there to tell us. So, Brad, how, when we put all together the series, you know, it, it's like as if it was, uh, you, you, we started with the worst. We started here with the disaster of Taupo back in December when the event had to be declared uh, no racing because the track was too dangerous. To ending as we have, this has been a dream come true of the highest calibre. From absolutely zero to hero in every shape and form, along the way some great clubs some great events some great racing and love it look at the way we're going to finish higher sung cup carl cox motorsport so oh, cool it's so brilliant with there's been absolutely zero classes that you can say have not dished up some phenomenal yeah, racing yeah, yeah. the super bike racing's the best i've seen in a decade that 600s that's going to leave uh, uh, my heart at about 300 beats a minute for three days or more that was unbelievable and then you uh, add your 300s into that all of it it's just
just been fantastic. Uh, some great brand new champions and some great innovation. A lot of uh, hard work and dedication has come uh, behind the scenes. And like you touched on, a wonderful six round series. We didn't have round number one, but uh, to have a series for the first time in three years not affected by COVID-19, that is a win in itself. So uh, absolutely brilliant. And we've got seven and a half laps still remaining of the final race here. Now Carl Cox Motorsport, the high sung and Ninja Cups. And uh, I tell you what, you're going to need the full seven and a bit laps to find out who's going to win because these guys have swapped the lead about 20 times already. Well, thank you indeed to Carl Cox Motorsport because, of course, we've got our, uh, our uh, British-based Kiwi hero and uh, Damon Rees, and he's hopped on board with Carl Cox Motorsport to get into the uh, Kinch Racing uh, team. So wishing him all the very best. That shout-out, Damo and uh, Talia. And thank you, Carl. Thank you very, very much because we can see a Kiwi on track at the best superbike racing outside of the World Championships, the uh, BSB, and it will only get better with that man uh, having an even better team and a, potentially an even greater bike. So I'm excited. Of course, it's something that goes on. It's uh, what we love, actually. It's uh, sort of like we're so spoiled because we get our best racing in the best time of the year and the best tracks in the best country, and then we can sit down over the winter time when it's cold, when it's ugly, and when you're not doing anywhere near as much and watch the world's best unfold. Yeah, some of it's in the middle of the night, but if you're brave enough to record it and not know the answer the next day, then sit down and watch it. Monday nights is something else to watch at our place when MotoGP come to town over the weekend. So just some of the examples of what we can get excited about. Well, motocross to look out for, of course, uh, AMA uh, Supercross and motocross, being a family of uh, road lovers and off-road uh, lovers, we love to mix it all up. And with uh, Damon and BSB in there, oh, what a cool uh, off-season it will be. And as all of this goes on, next thing we know, bang, we've got a new summer, we've got a new season, and the Suzuki International Series is back. And those dates are to be announced very shortly, and we'll put that hopefully again in conjunction with the NCSBK, because as far as I'm concerned, Brad, that has been a massive hit. Oh, that was, yeah, ticked every single box you yeah. could possibly tick there. It was wonderful. So let's uh, get excited for Billy Fuller, because if she wins this race, I believe uh, my uh, mass is only provisional, but I believe she will take out the Carl Cox Motorsport Ninja Cup for 2023. And let's uh, get excited about that. Billy Fuller fast up of the race of 142 flat. We've got uh, Tyler King uh, there and behind Alex Butson, who uh, did, uh, pulled out all the stops to try and lead this race. is back there in third. We've got uh, the update. Nathan Finlay is ahead of uh, Justin Reed. That is uh, the update uh, for uh, fourth and fifth place. We've got uh, it all unfolding nicely as uh, uh, Blair Skelton's the one in sixth place. Sean White is in seven. We've got Andrew Baldera and Andrew Ansel eighth and ninth. That is uh, the right to, down to the top nine of our Carl Cox Motorsport Ninja Cup. We then go to Ben Cook. Go Ben Cook. If he can hang on to the win there, that's certainly going to be enough. He's got the points lead in that higher sun cup and uh, double points available for this race here. So a massive 50 points on the table. And if he can hang on to that, it's going to be unbelievable. So uh, brilliant stuff. And a big reminder to all of you, 30 minutes after this race here, we are going to have our prize giving and crown some new deserved champions. Can't wait for that one there. We'd love to see you if you're still hanging around. But uh, also, uh, thank you for joining us. If you have had a look on CTAS, thank you so much to Grind and the team uh, for this uh, truly uh, world-class experience on CTAS Live uh, and uh, uh, part of the uh, action here at our uh, Aon and Pirelli New Zealand Superbike Championships. Uh, we've got our final race of the final round, the final day. It's uh, going to be pretty exciting and uh, loving it every uh, minute of it uh, right now. All right, uh, courtesy of uh, Honda Cars and the Honda Store and the fabulous CRV and uh, uh, Brad, what a brilliant vehicle and uh, the three different packages, third by third by third or lease it for $139 a week or just put the deposit down and pay it off. You've got a beautiful CRV. The Honda name, if we go all the way back to the first Jap imports in New Zealand, Honda were by far the number one. When we go back and talk about a Civic and Accord, in their heyday they were uh, number one. When we look at these uh, CRVs and uh, HRVs, absolutely beautiful SUV vehicle. So lovely and so lucky to be covered by a quality car brand supporting our motorcycle sport. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The third and the third and the third finance. 2.9% interest rate with zero deposit. Drive oh. away today from the Honda store, Mano 2. Get in touch with Mick, uh, even if you're not in the Mano 2. Uh, he has free delivery nationwide on your brand oh, wow. new Honda. So uh, look out for it. We uh, thank Mick and the team at Honda Cars uh, a lot because uh, without the, the medical uh, car, uh, it just uh, opens you up a uh, big time. So uh, fantastic to have that awesome uh, package as part of our New Zealand Superbike Championships. And we are excited. We're halfway through the final race of the day. Billy Fullett still leads Tyler King and an enthralling uh, Ninja Cup uh, encounter here. We'll look out for Alex Butts in there in uh, third place on the uh, number 18. We've got Nathan Finlay and Justin Reed still in fourth and fifth. Sean, uh, then Blair and the two Andrews uh, right down to the top nine. And then look out uh, Ben Cook, Oliver Pikett. They are 
Uh, they are 10th and 11th in the race, but that is uh, first and second in the uh, highest sums. We've got uh, Scott Finlay there. Uh, that'll be 11th place in the race. That's going to be uh, third uh, in that uh, class. And then Kendall Dunlop on the Kiwi Bike Insurance Machine, fourth in the highest sun cup, first of the ladies' home. If she can hang on to that, she'll be our Will Sport Women's Cup champion. And uh, oh, that's starting to get very, very exciting in our uh, higher sun and uh, ninja cup. And uh, shout out to uh, Ken Dobson. I uh, love like we talked about earlier in the package, uh, talking uh, and just uh, had managed to uh, bump into the awesome prize giving a week ago at the Moto Fest. Yeah. And what an amazing family and uh, package uh, going on down there. So uh, get in touch with the team. What a wonderful introduction to racing. And the list of champions that this uh, class has produced is an absolutely phenomenal one. So uh, fantastic. And long may I continue. The High Sun and Ninja Cup going strong here. Halfway through their final race of the day. Right, a uh, fair bit of uh, excitement to throw into this one. Uh, first of all, the fact that we've got the Ninja 400 up against the High Sun 2. 50. Now, if you say it like that, you think, well, they're not going to stand a chance. Yes, they're all in the same race, but there's two classes. The reason behind it is, of course, that uh, we needed to choose another bike because uh, the higher sung has uh, not been made now for around a decade, and they, they will slowly, they're a bit like the famous uh, motorcycle in Canterbury in their 150 class, the famous Peter Jones 150 race. It was sensational, but of course, we were running out of bikes and people were bringing imports, and it, it sort of just start, started to uh, wane a fraction. And as much as there's still plenty of 150s around in Canterbury, uh, for the North Island, it's been the higher sung 250s and their numbers are decreasing as well so let's relive it let's reboost it let's get it back on track and uh, call it the uh, higher sung uh, ninja cup with the uh, fantastic kawasaki 400 what a cool bike to get in there man i mean if, if you're looking for a street bike if you're just a young person starting out of course it's a bike uh, as a part of the uh, opportunity to get onto a motorcycle in the first place so it's effectively a learner's approved machine and uh, then the fun you can have with them is just uh, beautiful so a cool bike and a cool class and to add into that's great so we've got the two classes within the one race so but they're both part of the same big package and sponsorship and you've got it's sort of two lots of prize givings because you've got the high sun and the kawasaki and put it there so it's billy it's tyler it's alex they've been our three and been our heroes you look in there at nathan and justin you actually go all the way down to uh ollie it's written here as oliver piquette but it, we they just know him as ollie and what a kid to have had his debut he, he's an assurance broker and he's having his debut ride at taupo never been here before and he was smoking him up so well done to him being cooking behind him and he go to Scott Finlay so they are 10, 11, 12 now for those guys they don't mind who's first, second or third they probably don't care they might not even know they might have had a bit of a sniff here on more importantly they've got to beat each other because they're three around the tight uh, group so they've got to uh, go for their own battles the race within the race for the original name the higher sun cup so uh, Brad all on Ollie he's a name to look out for mate Oh, there they are, there they are. Yeah, oh, is ben, that a change? Ben, yeah, Ben's got a yeah, back. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ben, come on, Ollie, oh, come on, Ollie. Heating up with four laps to go here. So uh, look out, uh, Billy Fuller and Tyler King. They are now uh, ticking off yet another lap. So three laps to go for that pairing there, and they have bolted from the rest of the category uh, here. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So Billy and Tyler, they've been uh, sharing uh, a race win each so far this weekend. Billy won on Saturday. Uh, Tyler won here this morning. So uh, this one here is for the overall glory for the weekend. And uh, Billy... Also that uh, bigger prize as well because uh, the Carl Cox uh, Motorsport uh, uh, Ninja Cup and the High Sun Cup. Uh, coming into the weekend, uh, Alex and Billy, uh, there was only a small gap that got uh, diminished into zero for heading into this race. So if Billy Fuller can hang on here, oh, I believe she will be that Ninja Cup champion with the double points on, uh, uh, on the cards here. But uh, we don't want to put the commentator's curse. There's still a decent three laps to go. But uh, let's uh, get excited. The uh, pit wall uh, still alive. Uh, great uh, crowd still hanging around for this one here. And a reminder that prize giving. Uh, down uh, outside of race control that will be uh, 30 minutes after the conclusion of racing so still plenty to look out for here massive three laps to go but uh, man what an awesome addition having 29 extra riders come to our New Zealand Superbike Championship and I've had an absolute blast out the window here yeah exactly and uh, great to see you as we look for the finale and you look, if you're looking out Brad to give you an idea the Ninja 400 is actually before the end of the race is likely to lap those higher sums so that's how much better they are you know they're a modern motorcycle they're a new motorcycle they've got greater technology and they've got 150 cc's but it's not just 150 the high sun, of course, was a bit of a plain Jane. It was a, you know, a, a, it was a fairly priced, you could probably put it all right and just call it a budget motorcycle. They appealed to so many people because they were super affordable. When they came along, all the Japanese brands went, oh, holy hell, here's a challenge. And people bought them up in galore, and so they should do too. The, you know, they were, uh, some of them were nearly half the price of their uh, overrated other brands that were available around at the time. 250 cc's, man. These things scorched the motorways in the big streets of Auckland, and here they are enjoying the racetracks of uh, Hampton Downs and now here at the Taupo International Motorsport Park. So bring it home, Billy, Tyler. Oh, where are we? Where's Alex? 
Yeah, Alex is just coming out of the uh, flip-flop now, so yeah. uh, he's still he's still there, so uh, he's in third place well and truly. He's got a comfortable margin uh, back to uh, uh, Justin and also uh, Nathan, who Nathan's in fourth and Justin is in fifth, so he's got a decent advantage back to them. Uh, but uh, Alex Bunsen, after what an amazing first couple of laps, has not been able to hang with our front two pack. And uh, Billy Fuller with that purple lap on the fastest lap of the race. She's pulled the trigger and got about a 20 bike length advantage as she heads uh, into turn six and then around to the recently resurfaced turn seven. Two laps to go in an exciting uh, higher sung and Ninja Cup. And look at how spread out they all are. There'll be some unbelievable battles going on within the battles here. So uh, with 29 entries in our uh, uh, racing in all, but nine ninjas, 20 higher songs. It's been phenomenal, and uh, it's about to come to a big crescendo finish. Can Billy Fuller hang on a lap and a half away from uh, Glory? Uh, and then also uh, we've got uh, the Higher Sun Cup as well. Ben uh, in the driver's seat to take out that championship. And also Kendall in our Willsport Women's Cup. Uh, she'll be online uh, to potentially take some glory there as well. So it's all uh, unfolding nicely. We're at the business end and uh, a lap and a bit to go from uh, the crescendo of this race. Hey, on insurance, quality insurance. Ask for it by name. Check out your broker. You know, you've got branches and places that you may not have otherwise about an insurance uh, business. So go to where the people are supporting it. And you've, you don't have to ring up and get some uh, a person to talk to that's not necessarily from your country or your town or your city or knows about your insurance and your lights so uh, check it out it is uh, uh, Aon Insurance it's a fabulous uh, team and uh, great to have them on board with our sport we love them they support uh, our kids in rowing as well they support our kids in the motorcycle sport so ask for my name looking for insurance don't go with the other names They're, some of them are all not most of them are all owned by overseas companies check out the one that's proud to be Kiwi it's Aon Insurance it's about you and it's all about uh, your insurance so check it out with Aon I've changed Hope you can as well. There was no other insurance company supporting the game like Aon, so I've taken up their uh, office, and uh, they are very uh, respected offices as well, I can tell you. All right, so bring it home with some great sponsors and great people, and one lap to go, Bradley. Yeah, one lap to go, and it's actually a decent margin now, 1.4 seconds, oh. so uh, Billy Fuller, Tyler King, is lap traffic all over the show. It's going to be a frantic last lap, but uh, this young lady, ever since she turned up to the Motorfest a week ago, she has turned this class on its head. Unbelievable racing from Bill's Thrills, and uh, great to have her on display big time here. This will be great to see if she can hang on. She's got half a lap to do it. And then we're going to look out for it. Uh, a massive big thank you to everyone who's tuned in on CTAS. It's been a phenomenal six-round series. Thank you so much to uh, Grant uh, for uh, bringing us all this quality pitches. And uh, it's been uh, a treat to look out the window and uh, just be in awe of our uh, road racing paddock. It's been phenomenal. And we're half a lap away. Let's get excited about Billy Fuller. Out of turn at number 11 and down the back straight for the final time. It's been a fantastic addition to the program. Long may it continue. The higher sunk in Carl Cox Motorsport Ninja Cups. And uh, we're going to get on our feet here. This is going to be something special. We love our ladies in the sport. And none better than this young lady here. Turning heads in the paddock. The tractor driver from Taupere, Brad. Ta yeah, that's exactly right. Yep. The tractor driver from Taupere. She's a female uh, agricultural contractor. How cool. There it is. Out of the final corner. And the chicken flag waves. This is a Brilliant performance. Billy Fuller's going to win and take the overall. It's going to be second for Tyler King there uh, and a brilliant uh, weekend at the office. Three classes for that young man, and he is a man uh, on the rise on the Titus Transport Mad Mike Motorsport uh, machine. So uh, congratulations to him. We've got Alex Butson down the back straight now as well. Uh, he will come home uh, in third place. It'll be third overall for him this weekend as uh, we see it all started to unfold nicely uh, for our Ninja Cup. That's the top three uh, done and dusted. They are home and hosed, and uh, that's in the books. Look at Nathan Finlay in uh, fourth place, still yet to uh, complete that final lap uh, with Justin Reed in fifth place. So that's uh, where we sit uh, with all our uh, Ninja Cup competitors. We're looking out for a, uh, another pretty exciting one here. The Higher Sun Cup is on as well. Ben Cook, Oliver Pikett and uh, Scott Finlay. They are three of them going at it here. Uh, who is going to hang on to that one there? We've got Ben on the GVR Gavin Veltmeyer racing machine. We've got uh, uh, Ollie there. Uh, he's on that... Uh, sort of a bluey green machine and then Scott Finlay on the white bike in there so there's three of them they still want yet to uh, jostle for position and find out who's going to come out on top and that higher sun 250 at the moment uh, it's uh, all uh, here in front of us we've got uh, Nathan Finlay and Justin Reed they're coming to the flip-flop now so uh, a pretty good uh, day at the office for them as uh, it's uh, looking beautiful here uh, our Carl Cox uh, Motorsport uh, uh, High Sunk and Ninja Cup. Well done to Ken Dobson. What a legend. And brilliant to see uh, all the work that goes into making this series so good as uh, that comes to an end. So we're going to cross down to Neil. He'll have uh, our uh, two podiums in one. And uh, it's going to be uh, the Ninja Cup led by Billy Fuller, Tyler King and Alex Butson. And then we'll look out for our uh, High Sunk Cup as well as they uh, done and dusted uh, out there doing it. 
and we're going to get an update to you. Ben Cook ahead of uh, Oliver Pikett and Scott Finlay. So that's the update we can give you. Uh, 10th, 11th and 12th on the race, but that's uh, first, second and third. So uh, over to you, Neil. If you see the Orange Army, anybody, high five, thank you, any words, the Orange Army and the officials and those uh, black and red shirts, AMCC officials, you know, to all of that crew behind the scenes, you're awesome. To uh, Trevor, to uh, Paul, to Jim, to Chris, to Warren, uh, and the other names that I've uh, not mentioned, that's very rude of me, but you get the idea. So uh, I think it's just beautiful. So well done. AMCC, take a bow. You've uh, stepped up to this one big time. <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, Tyler's going to rock in here to take the second, and uh, those fans for Billy are just jumping out of the blocks as we get the uh, bike in there at the moment. There's the uh, super fist, and uh, look at that, look at that. Hey, 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 look at that. Uh, who does Billy want to hug the most? The man who's the inspiration of this sensational series. There she is, Bill Thrills, place number one. How cool to see. Yes, Motul uh, Elite uh, WIL, along with Carl Cox, MTF, Kawasaki, and the Auckland Motorcycle Club. A sensational uh, series. Even here with his uh, green shirts on. Let's race, let's race. Ken, th this series just getting better and better. How are you doing it? I don't know. It's just uh, attracting some great people, too. Yeah. And that's what, it's a community of people who love racing. No one has spent 50 grand a season doing it, yeah. but hey, having a lot of fun. So, and hopefully we're contributing to some talent that comes through the yes, yeah, yeah. faster classes. So, yeah. Yeah, that's cool to see you. Right, uh, hey, the, the higher sung hasn't died, but uh, the advent, you're happy you took on the Ninja 400s? Yeah, I am. There were, um, we try and create an environment where people are comfortable with their racing and they can move on to a a more modern bike that's a bit faster and help them with that and maybe then they go into Super Sport 300 or yeah. perhaps 600 so yeah it's a progression thing yeah. Right and um, your, your numbers what about, what about some history of, of what you had are, you, are your numbers about the same you know the country's been stagnant the world's been stagnant and you've bounced back like this you're pretty happy with the numbers you got? Yeah I am we always sort of battle a little bit to get big numbers down to Taupo but um, we've got 67 registered cup riders so okay. we've had 58 at an event so that's when we split the two classes but um, hey it's still not bad. Hey, you don't see many high sungs for sale anymore do you? <laughs> you? You guys are grabbing them all aren't you? They're all race bikes now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done that was uh Thank you, that was uh, Ken, the man of the moment, the man of the moment who's there, speaking about man of the moment, oh, Alex, 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 mate, you, you want to, let the on start, you want it sort of to be out in the middle of the paddock, don't you, you want a bit of a better chance, because man, you took a bolt in that one, cool class, cool racing? Yeah, love it, eh, um, I mean, these two are just some future up and comings, yeah. I mean, like, Billy's untouchable at the moment, she's found some really amazing form and she's riding really well, and Tyler's just been good all day, he's awesome. Um, I'm lucky to be out there with them. I've got about 38 kgs on them, so <laughs> down the straight they're gone. But it's fun to dive bomb them and put a bit of pressure on in the first couple of laps. Yeah. Well done, the Alex Butson Fan Club. Well done, well done, well done. Well, one of our riders today, undoubtedly, uh, Tyler King. Three different classes here today. Man. And look at that, he's not even a sweat from the brow. Doesn't that annoy you, eh? He's got so much energy and so much enthusiasm and so much good racing. Tyler, mate, let's just forget about January. It was a bit of a hiccup in your journey, but you've made up for it over these last two weekends. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Uh, yeah, getting good, good, good results in all the classes, so I'm pretty happy with that. Good to see you. All right, uh, how was Taupo? What was the track like today? That was good. It's getting a bit slippery near the end, getting a hotter surface, but yeah, it's all good. All right, indeed. Uh, off season, what are you going to do? Do some more training and hopefully get a few podiums next year on the 300. Yeah, on the 300. Well done. Nice to hear Tyler King. Well done. Top quality result. Here we go. Look at this Bill's thrill. Hey. Oh, listen to the crowd. Even the competitors, they don't mind being beaten by this lady, I can tell you. And what inspires a tractor driver to go motorcycle racing? Ah, uh, well, I always just wanted to be my brother, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all about that. Hey, uh, a, a different bike, a different kind of a campaign. You been happy with your season? Oh, I can't complain at all. Yeah, so won the championship, so, yeah, yeah I'm stoked. Number one, all right. Uh, are, are you back next year? Ah, uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'd love to do it next year. Yeah. All right. Can we step up more classes? Can you get into the same class as your brother and beat him? <laughs> oh, that's a step up. <laughs> um, probably not 1,000, but 
yeah, probably 300 again and see how we go. Well done. All right, what a hero and let's hear it, Billy. Well done. Yeah, yeah. The applause is sensational. Look at this trio again. Here they are. How good, how good. First of all, uh, Scotty, those guys are pretty hot, aren't they? Yeah, mate, yep. I was doing my best just to keep them in sight, but how we... Jammed it up the inside a couple of times to let them know we're there. But yeah. Jammed up, I like that. Jammed up the inside is uh, definitely like that. Hey, uh, mate, we're going to see more of you again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah mate. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. Not, no plans to give up yet. Oh, that's excellent. Cool to see. Cool to see. Let's go over here to the Eland Insurance uh, man. First time ever here. Well done. You like right, Taupo? Yeah. Um, to be honest, I actually prefer it to Hampton. Um, oh, there you go. And just your first visit. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot faster, more flowing, and you can climb around on the bike and. Yeah feel like a MotoGP star. Hey mate, I was getting excited because you had a chance to be number one, that bloody bugger come along and took it, eh? He's not fair, is he? Yeah, yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ollie, um, your, your first ride, pretty awesome though, eh? Yeah, um, no, I was happy with it. Uh, made a few mistakes myself with gearbox and stuff, so kind of have myself to blame for the for losing that, but yeah, been, uh, been right a clean race and just demon quick. Um, but where's Ken around? Ken, is, is this the best looking highest thing you've seen? Where we are, is, it's pretty cool, yeah, exactly. Congratulations for what you've done with it, mate. Does it give you some pride as well to have a great bike? Uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah it, it starts all the time and, you know, sometimes you get to the track in the morning and you just hear high sung starter motors. I'm, I'm glad that I'm not that. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to see you bank again next year? Uh, potentially. What, what's going to what's gonna get in the way? Uh, probably buying a van, something like that. Nah, come on, <laughs> mate, mate, you can still push your car and trailer around. Yeah, OK. Right, yeah. let's hear it. Well, what a great debut year. Great to see. Well done, well done. Here we are, Kimmy Bike Insurance and uh, Ben. Mate, these other guys, they're so good for you. You've got to be honest out there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. They, they kept me honest all race, so it was really good to come out on, on, the, on number one today, so... Yeah. All right, um, hey, we uh, put the odds together and... No, thank you, Christopher. We heard that one for your uh, transponders. We'll do it over this PA system as well. But uh, back with Ben, we can't steal a moment just because Christopher wants to tell us about transponders. But uh, hey, you've been something about racing this year. Better for you? Oh, it's been excellent. Yeah, won the championship this year. I've been trying for 11 years. So oh, 11 years trying. He's finally succeeded. Well done. What a story. Good stuff. Man, I mean, 99% of other people would give up, but now you've got the. Hard to stay there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, only need to see Ollie in his rookie yeah. season. He's, yeah, yeah. he's right there. So I hope he does compete next year because it's great to have close people around you that you trust when you're racing. So, And he's certainly one of them. All right, now, for all the people out there that are still listening, still watching on CTES and the like, what do you want to tell everybody about why they should be in the Higher Sun Cup? Oh, it's absolute the best racing and, and cheap and just excellent fun. And the, the social gatherings afterwards are fantastic. So, yep, all of that. All of that, the last word with Ben Cook. Let's hear it for Carl Cox Motorsport and the Higher Sun Cup today. The Ninjas and the Higher Suns all here as part of our uh, great team. So uh, well done, everybody. Uh, let's do a shout out for the team from CTES today. Thank you, CTES. Love your work that you're doing. People can see it. You can go back and watch it. And of course, the rest of the world has been able to see it today. To our AMCC team today up there, the, uh, the Chris's and the Jim's and the uh, Paul's and the Warren's and the uh, uh, Trevor's and to the whole team, thank you. And what about nice to be back here? Remember, Tail between their legs, but they went away and did something about it. Let's hear it for the Taupo International Motorsport Park as well today. Thank you to uh, uh, Martin and your whole team out there today. And the final one must go to the Orange Army. Let's hear it for our helpers and our volunteers today. We can't have our sport without you. Thank you all very much. God bless everybody. See you at prize giving. We're up on the balcony. We're going to be outside up on the balcony. We're going to have a great prize giving. Come and join us, everybody. God bless and thank you very much. off up here as well so uh, just that uh, message for your transponders and licenses still here at race control make sure you do uh, get out that one and uh, go and see team reads it's not too late to get your ko raffle ticket